Alright, hello and welcome to this uh, video on a simple player controller to get. Uh, you you probably don't like the player controller that comes in like the third person one from uh, uh, from the standard assets because it's using a rigid body and it's kind of slidey and glidey. Uh, this one is going to be more static. We press a key, he moves, we let go, he stops as soon as we let go of the key. So uh, let's create our, uh, our I guess, um, our scene that we're going to run around on. So let's create a cube. Let's just stick it out there. Let's add a, uh, let's add a other directional light here. And let's create a capsule. Let's drag him over here onto his cube. This cube's kind of small, so let's make it bigger. Right, so um, now this cube, let's add a component, physics, rigid body. Open up the constraints down here, and let's freeze the position on the X, the Z, and let's freeze all the rotations. So all we're getting is the Y, so he falls to the floor. So uh, now let's create a C-sharp script, and let's call it player. And we can already drag it on the player, on our player without even, uh, you know, writing any code yet. So now uh, he has the script. Let's open up the script, and let's start programming out a very simple player control that's a little more static and easier to control, in my opinion. Uh, than the built-in one. So let's start off by making a, uh, a few variables. We'll make a public float speed for the speed of the player. Make it about 0.1f. And let's just jump right into the update and as we run around in the update and program we'll realize what other variables we may need. So let's start off with a simple if uh, input dot get key is fine because we want to constantly check and we want to get the uh, right arrow key so if the right arrow key is pressed in fact let's make this wasid controls so let's say D here so if we're pressing the D key then we're gonna take the transform which is the current player we are c connected to on the script uh, then we're gonna take in the position and we're gonna add a new vector 3. Actually, um, let's just use the transform dot uh, right. Maybe maybe it's right, we might have to tweak it. Uh, but the transform right, if you've seen some of the other videos, the transform forward is the forward facing vector from the uh, player and the right obviously is the right. So, and we're gonna multiply that by the speed. Um, that we the speed variable we have up here which is 0.1 which may not be enough but we'll find out so uh, that's pretty much done there and let's just copy this if statement and there goes that thing talking again sorry um, and let's paste it down here and let's change this to a so we can move left so let's say negative right so we plus equal negative right uh, we'll see if that works out. So we're pretty much done here actually. Let's go ahead and hit play. Let's hit play. And there we go. A very static moving character. And you saw he does have gravity. He falls to the ground. And now we can press left and right and he's moving. Uh, and as soon as we let go, uh, you can see he stops. So that speeds all right. We can modify it here if it's too slow. Um, so that's really the basics about moving the player, but you might want to jump the player, make him jump whenever you press the space bar. Well, it's just, you know, as simple. Let's add a new public float jump height is equal to, uh, let's say, not jump height, let's say jump force is equal to 500. All right, so now we can say if input dot get key down. Notice the down because we don't want it on when the key is held. Uh, key code dot space for the space bar. Then we're going to do transform. No, not text asset. 
transform dot rigid body. So we get the rigid body dot add force, and we're gonna add in a uh, x, y, and z. So zero on the x, uh, jump force on the y, and a zero on the z. So there's a few problems with this, but we'll address it in just a second. So if we play and we press spacebar, he jumps at a pretty high amount. Let's lower his jump by like half. So 250 down here on jump force. Let's hit play. There he goes. All right, so now the problem is we can jump in midair. If I keep pressing, he's just gonna keep going up. So we don't want that. Uh, a very simple fix, this is no, by no means a permanent fix, but it'll get your brain going on how to fix things. Uh, we can add a boolean, so add a, a private actually, private bool is uh, jumping false. So uh, actually we'll start off at true because he's already falling. We don't want to jump at a mid fall. So is jumping is true and we want to say if uh, not, that's what the bang is for, not is jumping, then we'll do that check. So this check only happens if we are not jumping. So you might ask, um, well, how do we know when we're not jumping? A simple solution, by no means the best solution, is to check if this player is colliding with something. So uh, if we collide with something, we'll just say he collides with the floor. So private uh, float, uh, sorry, void on colli uh, collision enter uh, collider C. Uh, let's actually first let's give a name to our floor. So our, our floor name right now is cube. Let's call it floor. Fancy that. So it's now floor. So now we can say if c dot uh, game object dot name is equal to floor, then we can say is jumping is equal to false. So uh, we're not jumping anymore if we collide with the floor. So now let's go ahead and check it out and see what happens. So I'm going to hit spacebar a bunch of times. And uh, actually nothing happens. We actually got a error. Fantastic. That's what I love, getting errors. Um, sorry, collision, not collider. So it's collision C inside of the on collision enter. Uh, so sorry about that. Let's hit play. And now I'll hit space. And you can still see he constantly jumps. So uh, that's obviously not what we want. So let's head back. So if we collide with the floor, we say is jumping is false. And only is jumping true. So what do you think is here? We never set our jumping to true whenever we jump. So it's always false. So we got to set it in here. It is jumping. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. So his jumping is now true whenever we hit the space bar. So uh, we hit the space bar, it's true, we can't jump again until it's false, and it never becomes false until we collide with the floor. So let's go ahead and hit play. Let's hit the space bar a thousand times. You can see we don't have that jumping in midair anymore, and we can even walk and jump now. So there you go, there's a very simple uh, player controller that is more static, you're not all floaty and gliding everywhere whenever you stop, or there's not this ramp up to, to move, you just move at a pace, like some, some you know, old school games and stuff. So uh, hopefully that gives you a direction and that makes you uh, understand how to start building your own player, um, and uh, you can build up from there, and uh, we're done.